Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make an image move around the screen by your touch with Swift in Xcode. And I also want to let you guys know I did put these project files on my website, architap.com, so you guys can go download these project files for yourself. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started I just created a new project, and now we're going to make it a single view application. And our product name will be Move, and I'm just going to set our language to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Now click Next and create and we are using the storyboard today so let's go ahead and go into our main dot storyboard you guys can programmatically put a UI image view into your scene but I'm just doing this to keep things simple so let's uh, go ahead and add a UI image view into our scene so click and drag a image view into our scene and I'm going to make the width of it a 40 and a height will be 42. Now I'm just going to drag this down below so it's somewhere that we can see it. And now we also want to change the color of it. So let's go into our attributes inspector and we want to change our background to just, we'll just make it a gray, just so it's seeable when we do load the application. All right, now let's go to our viewcontroller.swift file. And first of all, we just need to create the variable for the location. So say variable location equals cg point not cg point make okay cg point and then say open parentheses and it should give you this option to say x cg float and y cg float so make sure to click on that all right now say we'll make the x zero and the y zero just because we'll change that later all right now let's uh, go ahead and go into our main dot storyboard and open up our assistant editor. It's a little butler suit looking thing up here. And let's go ahead, control, click, and drag from our UI image view into our viewcontroller.swift file and say insert outlet. And now our outlet went name will be person. And we'll connect that. All right. Now let's go ahead and add an action so that we have so that when the touches begin something happens so let's go ahead and open up our view controller dot swift again and close the assistant editor we just say touches began and it'll give you this option and you can either click tab or just double click it but so just tab or double click and it'll automatically fill everything in now just say open curly bracket sync, uh, enter close curly bracket now inside of this, we just want to add a new variable. So say variable touch colon UI touch touch with an exclamation point equals touches. So if you're wondering where I got this, this is the NS set that comes from up here. So we'll say touches dot any object dot any object so basically if it touches anywhere on the screen then it'll send this event so touches dot any object as as UI touch all right now let's go down here and just say location equals touch dot location in view and it'll be the self dot view so this is basically grabbing where the touched happened where the touch happened inside the view and then that's making it lo location right now let's go down here and say person person dot center equals location all right now this is just when the touches begin so it'll it'll automatically make the UI image view go to that location but after you move your finger on the screen or anything nothing happens so let's just go ahead and make that make something happen when you do move your finger on the screen so say touches touches moved so when the touches are moved then say open open bracket enter close curly bracket and now just copy and paste the exact same thing that we have up here all right, and now we're gonna set it set the person's the person's location at the very beginning of the view as soon as the view does load. So let's say person dot center equals cg point cg point make, 
our x value will be 160 and our y value will be zero. Uh, we'll make it 330. All right. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Now, as you can see, when this loads, it automatically puts the block red at 160 at 160 by 330. But like I said, I've had a little bit of problems with positioning of things with the with the view controller, but uh, it works for tutorial purposes. So we, now we can just click and drag and it'll go around the screen. And when we click over on an area over here, it goes automatically to that area. Now, anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you guys want to see any future tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys have any comments or questions, be sure to leave that down in the comment section down below. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.